boundary scan architecture. After watching this presentation, you will be able to uh, list the main blocks comprised in this architecture and also to explain how they interoperate to enable control and observation of any functional pin. Well, we will start by noticing that the um, boundary scan architecture interacts with the external world using uh, the so called test access port, which comprises um, either four or five pins because uh, the test reset pin is optional. Actually, normally you will only find four pins. Um, these four pins will be the test data input for scanning in test vectors, the test data output for scanning them out, the uh, test clock, and the test mode select, which controls what happens in the boundary scan infrastructure, as we will see in a while. Now, the uh, boundary scan architecture itself comprises a number of blocks, the first of which is the uh, so-called boundary scan register, which comprises the set of boundary scan cells that we are already familiar with. Now, this boundary scan register is placed in between TDI and TDO when these two multiplexers are operated as shown at this time. Now, we will uh, see that the so-called data or instruction multiplexer will have to be set high and that the data multiplexer will have to be set high as well, according to this, uh, this drawing. The uh, data or instruction multiplexer actually um, selects if the so-called instruction register or one of the data registers is to be placed between TDI and TDO. So when uh, these two multiplexers are uh, selected to operate as shown, we will have the boundary scan register placed between TDI and TDO. The second register that we will describe is the so-called bypass register. Bypass is a one-bit register, which can also be placed uh, um, in between TDI and TDO. Bypass is actually an alternative to the boundary scan register, and it may be important that uh, when we want to access only one given IC in a board that has a large number of circuits, or where the uh, circuits have a very large number of boundary scan cells, and uh, we may be talking about more than 1,000 boundary scan cells in a single IC, then having the possibility of shorting the path across uh, any given ICs is an important feature to speed up the test operations. Actually, both the uh, boundary scan register and the bypass register are both mandatory, and every boundary scan compliant circuit will uh, support the existence of these two blocks. The uh, third block, which you, will, uh, you can be sure of finding as well, is the instruction register. The instruction register is actually the uh, block where you, you will store the um, uh, binary code controlling this data multiplexer. So actually, we will always have to start by shifting in a bit stream into this so-called instruction register. And this bit stream, which is the instruction code, will define how the data multiplexer operates. So uh, we will be able to say we want to set, let's say, the boundary scan register in between TDI and TDO. And to do so, we have to shift in an instruction in the beginning that will control this multiplexer in order to operate as shown here. Or if we load the uh, so-called bypass instruction, then the uh, instruction decoder will control this multiplexer to set up the uh, TDI TDO path as shown here. This is the role of the instruction register. Now we know how to control the data multiplexer, but we may ask how can we control the uh, data or instruction multiplexer? Well, the answer to this question lies in the so-called 
test access port controller, which is a small finite state machine controlled by the external input called test mode select. By driving an appropriate sequence of ones and zeros at TMS, we will be able to take this finite state machine to uh, one state which drives this data or instruction multiplexer to the appropriate operating mode, be it uh, to shift in an instruction or to shift in data. So it's the test access port controller that controls this multiplexer in the right and it is the instruction register that controls the uh, data multiplexer. Actually the test access port controller finite state machine is what we might see as the um, brain controlling the boundary scan architecture within each IC. There may also be other registers uh, inside the boundary scan architecture and these uh, user data registers might include for example the uh, an identification register which comprises a 32-bit uh, uh, pattern identifying the uh, device, its manufacturer and additional information and uh, again the way to select the uh, identification code register if it exists is to uh, load in the appropriate instruction which will set this data multiplexer to operate um, in the appropriate form.